Assalamualaikum to Dr. Wahid Ali Husin, Muhammad Ghanim. Today, our group will present RC6 algorithm. My name is Muhammad Bashi bin Zanuddin and my fellow teammates are Muhammad Yirash Ibn Nubi Omar, Muhammad Sirash bin Muhammad Sani, Muhammad Shakim bin Aman, Amirul Hakim bin Afandi and Iskandar Zulkanain bin Muhammad Zubid. So, for definition, RC6 stands for Reverse Cipher 6 and it was invented by Ronald Rivers. Uh, Matt Robshaw, Ray Sidney and Yikun Lee Sayyid. So RC6 was actually one of the finalists in the National Institute of Standards and Technologies NIST AES competition. And RC6 actually evolved from its predecessor RC5. Uh, Ronald Rivers also invented the RC2 and RC4 algorithm as well as being as well as invented uh, a voting system in 2006. As you can uh, as you can see his picture in the image. To begin, uh, the artistic introduction. So it is an encryption type of symmetric block encryption. And because RC6 exists because RC5 did not appear to be the greatest fit for the AES competition's architectural limitation. Uh, RC6 has the use of four W bit word registers, integer multiplication as an additional primitive operation and the inclusion of a quadratic equation into the transformation are all improvements over RC5. So uh, RC6 has these uh, qualities that are improved compared to uh, RC5. So RC6 has uh, one main design objective which is to achieve simplicity and uh, in addition RC6 has not reported any known practical text uh, as well as RC6 is also comprised of three main components, including key expansion algorithm, uh, block, inc block encryption algorithm, and block decryption algorithm. Uh, all these algorithms will be discussed in detail in the next slides. I invite uh, my fellow teammate to elaborate, and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Siraj bin Muhammad I will present about advantage and disadvantage of RC6 algorithm. So, uh, for the advantage and disadvantage, we have related point advantage and disadvantage. So, okay, for the first point is the symmetric key encryption algorithm. The advantage is the cryptography pre present a variety of security purposes such as data privacy, data on alteration, and others. So its uh, cryptography is frequently implemented currently due to its high security benefits so the disadvantage is it is difficult for hackers to decrypt the rc algorithm okay for the second point is the rc block cipher so the rc is relatively secure compact and efficient block cipher it has high performance and a lot of mobility so for this uh, point we don't we don't have the disadvantage. Okay, for the next point is an improved RC6 algorithm with the same structure of encryption and decryption. So here we use the filter structure employs the same method of encryption and decryption, whereas the SPN structure employ the distinct technique of encryption and decryption. So uh, for uh, for this advantage, when the SPN structure is implemented via hardware, the area rise by double compared to the Fiesta structure. Okay, the next point is the block encryption algorithm combined with the logistic mapping and SN structure. So, uh, for the advantage, SP S box has high confusion effect, while the P box have the high diffusion effects. Okay, for the disadvantage, disadvantage must it must make a compromise or, and do a balancing act uh, between the S and P boards. As a result, security must be balanced as well. Okay, for the last point is the hash RC6 variable length hash algorithm using the RC6. Okay, a hash algorithm can be generated using the symmetric block cipher and this point doesn't have any disadvantage. That's all for me. Thank you.
Thank you, Bashir, giving this opportunity to me to present this topic. Okay, Assalamualaikum, Doctor. Uh, my name is Kanzo Kanai with metric number S55596. I will present for RCC where it is applied. Okay, for the first, it will be military. With the rapid advancement of techno technology, security has emerged as a significant research assist. The, the transmission of digital pictures is required for many sorts of communication. This, this transmission must be secure, for particularly in applications require a high level of security, such as military application, surveillance, radars, and biometrics application. Within their community, mechanism for authentication, secrecy, and integrity must be developed. As a result, numerous cryptographic techniques have a device to assure the transmission security and dependability. Next will be mobile telephone network. The encryption and description of speech data over an insecure data link is referred to as cryptography in voice communication. The goal is to make it impossible for anybody key without a key to receive the comprehensive a message that has been received. The process of encrypting a message plain text information is known as encryption. An encrypted communication is referred to be cipher text. The process of training encrypted material back to plain text is known as decryption. A cryptographic algorithm, as known as cipher, is a mathematical function for encrypting and decrypting data. A secret key is required for algorithm security. A crypto system is made of an algorithm as well as a possible plain text, cipher text, and keys. The last one will be digital rights management. The emergence of social media facilities, data sharing raising the specter of unlawful digital content use and distribution. Authors and publishers' publication rights are most unaffected by this copyright situation. Cryptography which encrypts and decrypts data protects copyright pro property by allowing only authorized users to use it lawfully and preventing it from being copied or used illegally. That's all for me. Thank you. Alright, so thank you Muhammad Siraj for the explanation. Alright, so next I will explain about uh, the general explanation of RC6 algorithm. So basically, RC6 is practically identical to the key schedule of RC5. Indeed, the only difference is that for RC6, are derived from the user supply kit for use during encryption and decryption. The user supplies a key of B bytes where B is more than 0 and less than 255. From this key, 2R plus 4 words uh, or W bits each are derived and stored in the array as uh, 0 till 2R plus 3. So this array is used in both encryption and decryption. Okay, so now we will go for the algorithm uh, for the encryption with RC6. So the input will be plain text stored in 4 WB input registers A, B, C, D, number R of rounds, W bit round keys as 0 till 2R plus 3. The output will be cipher text stored in A, B, C, D. Okay, so the, for the procedure, B equals to B plus S0, D equals to D plus S1, then for I equals to 1, 2R do, 2R. Alright, after that we will do in the do Y loop. T equals to B times 2B plus 1, triple less than log W. U equals to D times 2D plus 1, triple less than log W. A equals to A, exclusive or T less than U plus S2I. C equals to C, exclusively or U, triple less than T plus S2I plus 1. Then A, B, C, D equals to B, C, D, A. And then it will end, and it will do while loop. It will go then A equals to A plus S2R plus 2. Then C equals to C plus S2R plus 3. Okay, so next we will talk about the algorithm for decryption with RC sets. The input will be cipher text stored in 4 WB input registers A, B, C, D, number R of rounds, WB round keys S, 0 till 2R plus 3. Then the, plain, the output will be plain text stored in A, B, C, D. The procedure will be C equals to C minus S, 2R plus 3, A equals to A minus S, 2R plus 2. For I equals to R down to 1, then we will go to do while loop. 
Then A, B, C, D equals to D, A, B, C, U equals to D times 2, D plus 1, triple less than log W, T equals to B times 2, B plus 1, triple less than log W, C equals to C minus S, 2i plus 1, triple more than T, exclusively all U, A equals to A minus S, 2i, triple more than U, exclusively all T. Then, we'll finish the do I loop, then, it will go to D equals to D minus S1, B equals to B minus S1. Zero. All right. So that's all for from me. Next, I will pass to Muhammad Shakir for the next presentation. Hai, Assalamualaikum and my name is Muhammad Syaki bin Arman so I will present for the mathematical representation part okay uh, for the R6 algorithm in mathematical algorithm R6 method is more convenient to the others algorithm uh, mathematical procedure this is because uh, R6 consists of a collection of encryption algorithms that have all of their parameter set. Uh, for example, RC6 algorithm use this formula RC6 dash W slash R slash B, whereas W refer to word size and R as number of rounds. Next is the use of RC6 notation as an easy way to refer AES deliverable with parameters W equal 32, R equal 20. And then if W or R will be used for a different value than what is represented in the text. Next is the key length 16, 24 and 24 bytes will be special interest to AES projects. The last is uh, the formula RC6 dash W slash R slash B use six fundamental operations and two base logarithm of W that is called uh, LGW. Okay, so here the six fundamental operation of the RC6 algorithm. The first is uh, A plus B addition of integer with modulus modulus to power of W. Next, A minus B subtraction of integer with modulus to power of W. Next, A exclusive or B uh, a bitwise operation that is exclusive or with W bit words. And next. A multiply, multiply B refer to multiplication of integer with modulus to power of W. Next is uh, rotate the A to the left by least significant uh, log logarithm bits of B. The last is rotate the W bit word of A to the right by least significant uh, logarithm bits of B. So next we go to the detailed explanation with illustration of the RC6, RC6 algorithm. Uh, so uh, for the RC6 algorithm, uh, it uh, has two parts which is encryption and decryption. So uh, for the encryption, RC6 operates uh, for W bit register A, B, C and D. As you can see, uh, on the slide which is hold the initial input plain text as well as the final output uh, cipher text uh, the beginning byte of plain text or cipher text is placed in the least significant byte of a 
and the last byte is placed in the most significant byte of D. But for the decryption, uh, the decryption process can easily obtain from the encryption one using simple logic. Uh, this procedure handles the processing of the inverse formation of the encryption procedure. So uh, let me explain uh, the details about the illustration of encryption diagram. So uh, for the input uh, A, B, C and D, for the output ciphertext in A, B, C and D. So for the process algorithm, uh, for we start with the looping for i equals to 1 r2 so t equals to uh, b times 2b plus 1 so next uh, the answer will be rotated uh, to the left significant with log 2 w next u uh, for the u equal to d times 2d plus 1 so the, the answer will be rotated uh, to the uh, left with log 2 w and a equal to a exclusive or t uh, will be rotated uh, to the left with u plus n plus s 2 i c equals to uh, c exclusive or u rotate to the left by less significant of t and plus s 2 i plus one so here we got the answer a b c d equal to b c d a and uh, this is because in the algorithm it presents the parallel assignment of values on the right to register on the left uh, but for decryption as i said uh, before it uh, is the re inverse process from the equation procedure uh, which is start with same ABCD for the input output ABCD and for the algorithm C equal to C minus S to R plus 3 A equal to A minus S to R plus 2 so for the for looping for I equal to R down to 1 do is ABCD and equals to DABC which is U equal to D times 2D plus 1 so the answer will be rotate to the left by less significant log 2 w t equals to b <coughs> multiplied to by 2 b plus 1 so the answer will be rotated to the left by log 2 w c equals to c minus uh, s to i plus 1 so the answer will be rotated to the right by less significant of t and the answer at the answer is will be exclusive or with u and the last is a equals to a minus s to i we rotate also to the right by less significant of u and the exclusive or operation will be used with t the last is this d equals to d minus s1 so uh, for the next, I will explain step by step for the encryption process. Uh, so here there are three following steps of encryption, which is the first pre-whitening stage, rounding operation, post-whitening stage is the last one. So let's start with the pre-whitening stage first. So here we got two step, B equals to B plus S zero d equal to d plus s1 uh, s0 and s1 key are used to perform a permutation of information that is currently stored in the register b and d so the objective of this process is to eliminate all the possible of inference regarding an element of the information that will be fed into the first round of encryption next step is rounding operation uh, so here we got four steps is s equal to b times 2b plus 1 and the answer will be rotated to the left by less significant log 2w and t d times 2d plus 1 so the answer will be rotated to the left by log 2w and next is a equals to uh, we use the operation exclusive or for a and t and next the answer will be rotated to the left by less significant of u and so all the answer 
we may plus by s to i see uh, we use the same with uh, step 5 c exclusive or u and the answer will be rotated to the left by less significant of t and the answer will be plus by the formula s to i plus 1 so for the last step is post whitening sorry for the post whitening stage uh, which is a equals to a plus s to r plus 2 c equals to c plus s to r to r plus 3 for the step 7 and 8 so uh, here at this step we get rid of all, any inference that could have been made about a portion of the input to the previous round of encryption by looking at the information that was saved in the register a and, S, a and c so i think that's all from me so I will pass to the next presenter for the next part. Uh, thank you. Okay, my name is Amir Hakim bin Afendi, and I will be explaining about the program with clarified inputs and also outputs. So as you can see here, this is the codec for for converting hexadecimal number into string to byte array, and to convert byte array to text format. So this is the coding. This one is uh, the key scheduling algorithm for RC6 as, as mentioned above. And this one is the coding for encryption algorithm for RC6. So uh, encryption we will be needing a plain text and then convert it into cipher text. And this one is decryption algorithm for RC6. We will be needing cipher text to convert it into plain text. I will be explaining it later. <coughs> And this is the coding snippet to convert byte into uh, integer form and also to convert byte to words form. So the input will be displayed on text file. So it will be read the read the the information from text file. So this is the input and output for encryption. As you know, uh, encryption to to in, to encrypt the data will be in plain text. So that it plain text and also use a key to to show the the display to in form of cipher text. So RC6 is a, is a symmetry key algorithm encryption. So it will be need it will need only one user key to to encrypt it. So as you can see here, once I put the plain, once I put the plain text, it will be it will be. Is after I run it, it will be showing uh, the cipher text. And this one is uh, the decryption. So when I put uh, the cipher text, it will be displaying in the form of plain text. That, that will be all from me. Thank you very much. Okay, for the conclusion, the science of video writing is known as cryptography. This method is used to achieve the many algorithms that have been developed by various individuals. This paper examines the reverse cipher 6, which is R6, symmetric key algorithm invented by Ronald Rivers in depth. The algorithm is examined in this paper is termed its application, benefits and limitations, block size, key size, application and decryption procedure, and coverity analysis. That's all from us. Thank you very much, Doctor, for spending your time to listening our presentation. Thank you.